Today, Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs announcing more details about furloughs for 366 county employees in the fee offices and every executive branch department, which totals savings of an estimated $1.73 million in payroll costs. The largest of these furloughs coming to the Knox County Library. And that's where we find WATE 6 on your side's Madison Keevy, who's breaking down the details of these furloughs. Working with the mayor's office, the library system is furloughing 169 employees. Of those, 115 are classified as full-time. Knox County libraries have been closed to the public since last month physically and will remain closed until further notice. The library is one of nearly 15 executive branch departments impacted by furloughs. Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs announced these furloughs last week. The mayor calling those the hardest decision he's had to make since taking office. A library spokesperson telling us, quote, the library currently employs 194 people. The remaining 25 employees will handle all aspects of library operations remotely, including managing electronic resources, circulation and reference services, online programming, maintenance and other necessary operations. By the numbers, other departments facing the highest number of furloughs after the library include the Health Department with 26, Engineering and Public Works with 22, Veterans and Senior Services at 17, the Clerk's Office at 20, Criminal Court Clerk and Trustees Offices both at 19 furloughed employees. The County Human Resources and Benefits Department and the Regional Forensic Center were exempted from issuing furloughs due to high demand on already overwhelmed staff. County employees that are being furloughed, like those that work at the library, will continue to be paid through May 8th. They'll also continue to receive health coverage and benefits through the county and will be eligible for state and federal relief. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Madison Keevy, WATE 6 on your side. Thank you so much, Madison. Now, these furloughs won't have an impact on Knox County schools. They only include executive branch and elected fee offices. The attorney general, public defender, and sheriff each opted out of this. Mayor Jacobs also says that he can bring employees back before eight weeks or extend the furloughs if finances don't improve. Of course, we'll keep you updated.